Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Today, we're going to talk about what I carry in my day-to-day light camera setup 2022. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Now welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about what we carry or what I carry in my kind of day-to-day -day photography video setup. Now this is not for a major shoot, not for a wedding, this is just day-to-day -day when I'm going out for a day trip etc to chill out, take some photos, film something, nothing spectacular, maybe for YouTube, maybe for myself, just to practice get better at what we all do and have some fun. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, I must have a subscribe button somewhere down there. So please, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Now, moving on, we're gonna start off with the backpack. Now, this is, I believe this is a KNF concept backpack. It's not the most toughest, ruggedest backpack on the planet, but it has back access, it has decent cushioning everywhere, pockets with zips for your little bits and pieces, and a laptop pocket as well, with some other pockets in here as well. There you go. And a tripod holder on the side. So that's my kind of day-to-day, -day. and it's very, very light, compact, and pretty in conspicuous in conspicuous you know what I mean you won't know it's a camera bag with a lot of stuff so that's my camera bag for my kind of day today run and gun shooting now depending if I'm going more for photo or more for video if it's more for photo I will still go for the old favorite a7 III now this is a workhorse it is a number of years old but still a great camera and I believe 24 megapixels for me is more than enough. Now with regards to lenses, I have on here the Sony 85mm 1.8 which is great for any type of photography. Now I'm a believer that you don't have to use a particular lens for a particular scenario. Let me explain. So. Some saying 85 is for portraits, some saying that wide angles are for landscapes. I don't believe in all that. I believe using the right lens, what you think, what looks good for you is the right option. So I might use the 85 for portraits, I might use the 85 for landscapes, I might use the 85 for product photography. It's what I feel looks good at the time. In that we also have the Sony 70 to 200. This is the F4 version. Again, most of my shooting is done in daylight. I have no need or yet no money to get the Sony F2.8 version. And this has done me proud. It's got obstacle, obstacle? Yeah, it's got optical steady shot. Um, so it does help with the wobble, wobble. I seldom carry a tripod, but if I do, I have space in my backpack to carry a tripod. And then the other kind of versatile lens, which is kind of new in my arsenal, is the Tamron 28 to 75 f 2.8. Now I did have the Sony, I believe it's a 28 to 105 or 24 to 105 f4. Decided to sell that and replace it with that, purely because too many lenses for me is no good and in case I need to do a shoot in low light I've got an f2.8 with the phone we have the iPhone 13 Pro I've now finally gone down to the normal size not the max size and I couldn't be happier with my decision it's smaller it's what I need and it still has all the functions of the Pro Max. If I want to shoot any kind of 
long exposure or time lapse with the iPhone, I have this non branded little kind of phone holder which I've got an Arca Swiss plate so I can go onto any tripod there. Just in case any battery runs out or I'm doing anything with related to water, I have my GoPro Hero 7. That's right, I'm still on the 7. I've got a 6 somewhere as well. But again, this is fine for me. And the last thing in my little city day trip backpack is this little fella. And this is the original DJI Mini. Not the two, the original one. And again, I find the picture quality I record in 2.7K on this guy and then just upscale it to 4K if I need to. Or in 1080p, again, this is just a run and gun shooting. Plus, it's smaller than it. I've got the Air 2S for normal shooting in 4K or 5.4K. This is plenty for that kind of day to day. And again, the controller is also smaller than the Air 2S, so kind of that drone and that controller takes up as much space as just the controller for the Air 2S. So that's pretty simple setup. A couple of lenses, one camera. If I'm doing more video, then I'll take that camera over there, the A7S III, a small drone, my phone, holder for my phone, and that's pretty much it and that will all comfortably fit in that small backpack again if I'm doing something bigger then I'll take my Peter McKinnon bag and I'll fill that up with the year 2s with more lenses with both the cameras to have a backup with two GoPros just so we have redundancy all over the place so hopefully you enjoy this video of what's in my day bag photography and video Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll catch you in the next one, everybody. Goodbye for now.